<coughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Incognito. In this video, we're going to compute the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix using a Laplace expansion. So first, if we have a 2x2 two two matrix A, B, C, D, then the determinant of this matrix is a number that's given by the formula AD minus BC. So we're going to need that in order to compute the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix using a Laplace expansion. So let's take the matrix A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and let's try to compute the determinant of the matrix A. <clears throat> so in order to do that, the following sign chart is helpful. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus. And for larger matrices, this checkerboard pattern can be extended. <clears throat> so the way it works is you take any row or any column. So I'll do a Laplace expansion about the first row. And what you're going to do is you're going to take each number in the row and multiply it by the determinant of a 2 by 2 submatrix. And then you're going to add those together. Well, you're actually going to add or subtract according to the sign chart. So across the first row, 1 goes with a plus. So we have 1 times the determinant of a 2 by 2 submatrix of this 3 by 3 matrix. And that 2 by 2 matrix is the matrix obtained from eliminating the row and column from which the entry 1 appears. So eliminate the first row and the first column. And you get the 2 by 2 matrix 5, negative 1, negative 3, negative 4. So that's the first term in the Laplace expansion. <clears throat> now we move across the row, 2, and we have a sign of minus. So minus 2 times the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. The 2 by 2 matrix associated with 2 is Remove the first row and the second column, and you get 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. <clears throat> and then the last term in the expansion will be plus 3 times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix from striking out the first column and the third, sorry, the first row and the third column. So this 2 by 2 matrix here, 4, 5, negative 2, negative 3. 4, 5, negative 2, negative 3. So our answer is uh, going to be obtained by computing these three determinants and then doing the resolving arithmetic. Okay, ignore the 1 there. That's negative 20 and then minus Remember, it's AD minus BC, so negative 20 minus 3. And then I have minus 2 times, and this determinant is negative 16 minus 2. And then I have plus 3 times this determinant is negative 12 minus negative 10. So let's do the arithmetic. Negative 23 minus 2 times negative 18 plus 3 times, that'll be a plus 10, so negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. Negative 23, double negative is plus 36, that's 13 minus 6, 13 minus 6 is 7. So the determinant, the determinant of the matrix A is 7. And one bit of significance of this number is a theorem that says uh, the determinant of a matrix, the 
me say it this way. A given matrix A, square matrix, n by n, is non-singular, that means it has an inverse, it's non-singular if and only if the determinant of A is not zero. So in this particular case, the determinant of our matrix A is not zero, it's seven. And so the matrix A that we see here is non-singular. In other words, this matrix has an inverse. So the matrix A inverse exists. So since the determinant of A is not equal to zero, A is non-singular, <clears throat> which means that the matrix A inverse exists. Okay, and uh, before we wind up this video, I want to point out that the Laplace expansion can be done using any row or any column. <clears throat> That's why we need a sign chart here for any row or column. So just as an example, uh, let's figure out the determinant of this same matrix, so it's going to be 7, uh, using the second column. So the determinant of A using the second column is equal to, uh, let's just put it here. Remember, we should get 7. The answer should be the same no matter what row or column you use. So the determinant of A is going to be 2, that's a minus, so minus 2 times the determinant of the matrix obtained by removing row 1 and column 2. So 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 4. And then plus 5 times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix obtained by eliminating row 2 and column 2. So 1, 3, negative 2, negative 4. 1, 3, negative 2, negative 4. And then minus negative 3, so I could have put a plus there, times the determinant of remove row 3 and column 2, you get 1, 3, 4, negative 1. 1, 3, 4, negative 1. And then we do the arithmetic. We do the arithmetic and we should get 7. So this is equal to negative 2 times negative 16 minus 2. AD minus BC. And then plus 5 times negative 4 minus negative 6. And then plus, double negative, 3 times negative 1 minus 3 times 4 is 12. So this is negative 2 times negative 18, which is 36. And then this is plus 5 times uh, negative 4 plus 6 is 2. 5 times 2, that's 10. And then we have plus 3 times negative 13. So we have 36, 46 minus 39, which is 7. So no matter which row or column you use, uh, just making sure you use the sign chart for the corresponding row or column, in your Laplace expansion you will get the same value for the determinant. And if that value is not 0, then your matrix has an inverse. If that value is zero, then your matrix is what's called singular, and it does not have an inverse. Okay, thank you for watching.